the time has finally come to give the MR2 a much needed power upgrade. This is a Gen 4 3S GTE with an upgraded turbo. Uh, it's been resealed, head gasket, valve covers, cam seals, things like that. Um, the time belt's been done. This is uh, the engine you, you would normally find in the in a second gen MR2, the SW, but we're putting this into an AW. As you can see, the 4G is already out. It's uh, sitting right over here. And as you can see, it is looking pretty tired and leaking all kinds of stuff. So this is about around 100 or so horsepower, brand new. And um, with the Gen 4 3S GTE, you're getting up to around 280. So about double the power, maybe triple. So this is Alan's project. I'll let him explain this in further detail. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, this is my Gen 4 3S GTE project going into my AW11 here. Well, I guess it's an SW11 now, but a lot of work has gone into this motor. It took about six months to do. This is the plug and play motor mounts from Prime Performance. The other ones right here. Um, I got a TCS water neck here. Uh, ATS racing upgraded turbo has a billet wheel and it's bored out a little bit uh, prime performance shifter relocation with the stainless steel clutch line uh, prime performance stainless steel downpipe and what else oh and there's my custom little belt setup I'm using a Datsun 280Z tensioner here so that I can just run the alternator and I, so I can delete the AC compressor. Um, powder coated valve cover, painted intake manifold, I polished out the heat shields here. painted the block. I don't know if you can see that. For now I'm using a manual boost controller. And this is a S54 transmission. And on the inside I got a Fidanza lightweight clutch. No, lightweight flywheel. And a South Bend clutch kit. So I've been around MR2s for a while and every now and then I see people on the forums trying to drop the engine through here and what ends up happening is the engine would start moving around break this visor or even worse the rear windshield the correct way you're supposed to do it is to jack the car all the way up and slide this underneath here then drop the car onto the engine
side is on. So you thread this nut in. You see, pretty close fitment. But the 3S is in the AW11. This is really tight fitment. Move it this way. starting to go in now with a little persuasion from the hammer. back up and put the jack stands back on. Complete plug and play. Now it's got to hook up the wiring harness, put in the intercooler, bleed the clutch. So we got the two side mounts on. That's what holds up the engine. The ones on the front and back is what controls the torque. So we can stick these on here. This is the factory AW11 speedometer cable and it plugs right into the S54 transmission. But you gotta make sure they have a mechanical uh, speedo gear first. You can tell if you have threaded stuff up here. I just got the shift cables hooked up. Um, I'm using S54 shift cables out of a SW20 MR2. It's got the prime performance shifter cable relocation kit and the Stinky Racing Garage shifter bushings. with the new engine and sent it over to Prime Performance so that they can merge it together to make this complete plug and play harness. You can see that it's all really nice and done. Yeah, let's stick this in now. So I got the other half of the harness through the trunk already. Now I just gotta figure out how to route this 
through the engine. I think it goes right between the intake and the valve cover. Mm-hmm. 